I, I don't know French, so I'm going to pronounce these names with uh, probably a bad accent. Andre Breton and Paul Eluard. And the book is The Immaculate Conception. I am feeling horribly better. The vain words that had been put into my mouth are beginning to have an effect. My fellow men are leaving me. With my hand in the lion's mane, I see the deceptive horizon that will lie to me one last time. I take advantage of everything, even its lies in the form of peelings, and the little walk it takes when it always goes past my home. Nothing serves me so well as when it meets me. But still, what a silly exam. I could have got through it if I had to, were it not for that little history question. How lucky I was not a candidate. My travels have always taken me too far. The certainty of arriving has never seemed more to me than the hundredth ring on the bell at a door that does not open. Even suffering was haunted. When that woman with a body striped like a Venetian blind came to go stale on my bed, I realized I must be cold. I was cold. But youth stood watch. In fact, I had hardly suffered. I must confess that I kept her head on my chest. That brightness over there is her nocturnal form which cannot disappear and which sustains the night and searches through the light where I am not. As it is, the well is all on the surface. The curl of summer in the hair of springtime explained to me at length what promise means. The beastly rain bore on its antennae progress which limps through the spray. The rain still sings of the tight-lipped, threatening whim which leaves everything to perish. The sound of its voice is a scar. Here is the great bleeding square. The sheep are arriving at full speed on stilts.